to set up segments the correct way in Klaviyo. Segmentation is the make it or break it for your email account. It determines whether your campaigns are reaching the right people or your emails are going to be ending up in spam. Today, I'll be peeling back the curtain and showing you exactly how our agency sets up our segments for our clients. We don't wanna overcomplicate our segments because it gets really messy really quickly. So we're gonna be covering three main categories our master and engage list, buyers list, and suppress list. Plus, at the end of the video, I'll be showing you a bonus segment that we utilize when we're resending campaigns for our clients. I'm Nikita, and I run an email marketing agency, and my team and I do this every single day. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Starting off with a master and engaged list. The main use cases for this is to be able to send out our campaigns to all of our subscribers. This also helps trigger the welcome flow and it helps engagement and deliverability based on the timeline of engagement. And I'll show you exactly what I mean here. So the main segments that we wanna look out for is our general master list, which is everyone that has subscribed to our email marketing, our SMS subscribers, so that way we can see exactly who subscribed to our SMS, our SMS subscribers in the USA, if you wanna keep your SMS costs low, our engaged 15, 30, 60, 90, and 120 days. So people that are basically engaging within a certain timeline. And this is where deliverability comes into play because if you have people that are very highly engaged in the last 30 to 60 days, but not 90 to 120 days, that is where we can slowly start to expand that window towards the 90 and 120 days by keeping those 60 and 30 day engaged people engaged, essentially. And lastly, the very highly engaged. Now these are the people that are always opening up your emails and at least they're opening them up in a small, short period of time. When it comes to sending, the general master list is what people send out the most. And this is what we see with our clients. Even though people say, oh, we don't want to send out to our entire list. We'll get into some specifics into other segments that we exclude from our campaigns when it comes to sending out to everyone. Moving on to the buyers category. And the purpose of these segments is to target people that are have already bought and have already had a good experience with the brand, target them with product launches, send out exclusive VIP deals to people that are VIPs, suppress recent purchasers from campaigns. Here you can exclude people that have recently purchased so that way they're not consistently getting bombarded with emails when they've already bought something. The segments here are general buyers list, so people that have at least bought once, repeat buyers, people that have bought twice or more, VIPs, and this is based on lifetime value. So this depends on your specific brand. Whatever your VIP is, whether they spent $100 with your brand, 200, 300, 400, maybe sometimes even a thousand plus, those people are VIPs, and that's where we send out those launch emails, and that's where we send out those VIP only discounts. And lastly, purchased within the last 14 days. These are the people that we we'd be excluding in our campaigns because they recently purchased and we don't wanna keep sending to them. Some things you can do to upgrade your segments even further, you can segment based on people that have purchased a specific product or purchased from a specific category. Here you can either suppress the people from purchasing again. So for example, if they bought shoes and you're sending out a shoe-based campaign, you can exclude them from getting that email or you can use this as a cross-sell or an upsell opportunity. So if they bought shoes and you're selling t-shirts and you can include them in that cross-sell email. Lastly is the suppress list. And this one is very, very underestimated. The main reason is a lot of people talk about segmenting things based off of people's engagement or based off of people's buying behavior, which is fantastic. But a lot of brands aren't excluding people that are simply unqualified, didn't engage, or are more likely to cause harm to your deliverability. So the goal of the suppressed category prevent sending to the wrong people that can hurt your deliverability, your domain reputation, and might lead your emails to going to, go to spam. Here we want to avoid sending to people that just never engage, are suspicious, likely to bounce, or give you false emails for that coupon code. You need to make sure when you're sending the campaigns, you wanna exclude these people from your list. So let's break down the segments here. We have the win back flow, which isn't necessarily an exclusion from your campaigns, but it's a trigger for your win back flow when people haven't engaged in the last 120, 160, or 180 days, they can be added to the win back flow as a trigger so they can go through those last chance emails before they're actually added to the delete list or added to the cleanup list. Bounced emails times two. This is pretty self-explanatory. We want to reduce sending to the people that are bouncing because the higher your bounce rate is, the more likely you're going to be flagged with your email service provider. Never open, never clicked. This is pretty straightforward. These are people that subscribed, but just didn't engage at all. And we wanna clean those people out from the email list. No recent engagement. Again, another self-explanatory one. People that haven't engaged at all in recent times. This goes anywhere from a couple months to almost a year. Mark the spam. This one's already pre-built within Klaviyo. So we want to just exclude people that have marked the spam in our email list because at that point we're just sending to spam emails and they're not gonna go anywhere. 
Low engagement is another one where we just don't wanna send out to people that haven't engaged with our emails at all. Simply put, they're not gonna do anything positive for your email list. And lastly is suspected spam traps. These are people that just are possibly spam, haven't engaged with your emails at all, haven't bought anything, haven't even viewed your website, but subscribe to your list regardless because it could be a bot, it could be a, a website crawler, or it could be simply someone that's subscribing to your email list just to see what emails that you send out. So we don't wanna send out to those people. Some upgrades you can do to your suppressed category is you can start noting down all of the emails that are spam emails. Create a segment for those spam traps to automatically add them to a suppressed list. So for example, if someone subscribes to your email list and they have, this is a common one in Shopify is the name Mark Musterman. Be on the lookout, search it up in your Klaviyo. If you have a Mark Musterman in your Klaviyo account, exclude them because that person or that email is known to be a spam email. We've had dozens of clients with this problem. That email is added to our suspected spam traps category. You wanna exclude those people from your campaign sending. Now for that bonus segment for resends, if you send a lot of emails back to back to your email list where it's the same exact email, just a different subject line, and you don't wanna send out to those people that have opened the email from the last email, we want to utilize this segment right here. So that way we can suppress those people that have opened recently. So that way they can, they're more likely to open again as we're bumping that email up in their inbox. So those are the segments that we utilize. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you in the next video.